I told you guys that this would be a crazy offseason. I'm not sure how many people believed me. On draft day already, we have seen significant movement and we have gotten news that is already frying my brain. I can't tell you guys how excited I am right now for the future. I just want to preface everything by saying that I'm a New Orleans Pelicans fan. But before I ever became a New Orleans Pelicans fan, I was a Rockets fan because check it out, the New Orleans Pelicans have not always had a team. So the Rockets have always had a special place in my heart. Rockets fans, you can bet that after the draft, we're going to have a ton of videos coming. As a matter of fact, if you are a lottery team and I have not been showing your team the proper amount of love, drop your team in the comments below and I'll try to bring you guys a summer league video at worst. Before we get into the trades, did anybody else see Jalen Green say that he wants to live in Detroit? That was heartbreaking and I'll tell you guys why later. Let's start off with the trade talk. Today, the Brooklyn Nets traded Landry Shamet to the Phoenix Suns for Javon Carter and the number 29 pick in the NBA draft. Landry Shamit can shoot the lights out of the basketball. I actually have a video on my channel that compared Landry Shamit to Buddy Heald very early in Shamit's career. While that video may have been a miss, I'm still somebody that's very high on Shamit and his potential. He's not the worst defender in the league. He's a capable finisher. He's flash shot creating upside. I like the move for the Phoenix Suns and I also like the move for the Brooklyn Nets. Brooklyn is a sneaky team, guys. Do not sleep on what the Brooklyn Nets do this offseason. On Twitter, I saw that the Brooklyn Nets were trying to trade DeAndre Jordan, and I kind of just put cap. If they can actually trade DeAndre Jordan and get assets back, the Brooklyn Nets GM is probably the greatest GM to ever GM in NBA history. I'm sorry, DeAndre Jordan. Your prime was absolutely amazing, though. Electric. I loved it. Now, as we move on to bigger news, there's been a lot of Lakers talk lately, and rightfully so. The Los Angeles Lakers, Kyle Kuzma, Montrez Harrell, there's just a lot of moving parts, a lot of things happening right now. Now, recently, it was thought that the Lakers would be acquiring Buddy Heald. Buddy Heald seemed like a seamless fit alongside LeBron James and Anthony Davis, simply because Buddy Heald is an absolutely ridiculous shooter. This guy can shoot the lights out of the ball, and dare I say it, he shoots the three-pointer at a historic clip. The Lakers have Anthony Davis and LeBron James. Building around these two isn't rocket science. Get guys that can shoot the ball, get guys that can create, and get guys that can fill a role. For the Los Angeles Lakers, it was understood that Buddy Heald could do exactly that. Shooting 45.6% on wide open threes, 43.4% on catch and shoot threes, and 37% on pull-up threes and fourth in the nba in total three-pointers made buddy Heald has been absolutely dynamic shooting the ball the past five seasons this past season the lakers struggled shooting the ball heavily and on top of buddy's great shooting he also brings you a shot creating aspect so of course you could see why the lakers were interested in trading kyle kuzma and some assets for buddy Heald. now Recently, it was understood that the Kuzma deal was being held up because Montrez Harrell wasn't sure on if he wanted to opt in or not. Keep in mind, this is a very weak free agency class for bigs. I truly believe Montrez Harrell could get a bag if he opted to enter free agency. He chose not to opt for free agency. He opted into his contract with the Los Angeles Lakers. And of course, the contract that Harrell signed with the Lakers this past season, he took a pay cut to sign that contract. Why Harrell would opt in to a contract that he took a pay cut doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But when you remember that Montrez Harrell is a part of Clutch, everything kind of ties together and I'm kind of joking, but I'm kind of not at the same time. I have to give it to Clutch. These guys move as a unit. Clutch is the biggest business is the biggest thing going in the nba right now it feels like now of course there's always the chance that i'm tripping but of course let me know if you guys think 
that Montrez Harrell would get more than 10 million per year in this year's free agency class. Also, let me know what you guys think about the possibility of Russell Westbrook joining the Los Angeles Lakers. I'm not making this up. This is actually happening. I have a theory about how everything went down. That same deal that the Los Angeles Lakers were offering to the Sacramento Kings, when they saw that Westbrook was becoming available and wanted to play for the Lakers, they made a very easy decision. I don't know about you guys, but I would much rather Russell Westbrook in Los Angeles as opposed to Buddy Heald, who's making $24 million per year. Now, this isn't me saying that I'm opposed to either fit, but when you think about what Russell Westbrook did for the Washington Wizards this past season, what he did was unbelievable. In my opinion, Westbrook was the engine for that team. He made that team go. And if you're worried about Westbrook shooting in Los Angeles, I can tell you right now that with the Oklahoma City Thunder, he's had seasons where he shot 37% on catch and shoot threes. I think this past season with the Washington Wizards, he actually shot around 35, 36, 37% also. Westbrook isn't a bad catch and shoot shooter. Where he gets in trouble is a lot of the bad pull up jumpers that he takes early and late in shot clocks. According to Shams, the Lakers and Wizards are in serious talks on a Russell Westbrook trade to the Los Angeles Lakers. Sources tell The Athletic that Westbrook has become the Lakers primary focus. He would give them a dynamic playmaker alongside LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Westbrook wants to move elsewhere and the Lakers are his preferred destination. What this means is Westbrook has officially demanded a trade. Things have officially hit the fan. Don't forget with the Rockets, Westbrook looked like the best player on the floor at times. When the Rockets had spacing around Russell Westbrook, Russell Westbrook was virtually un stoppable now my question is what does this mean for bradley beal according to woge washington wants to make this trade with bradley beal in mind creating some salary cap flexibility for the future to add talent around him the idea of westbrook returning to los angeles has been appealing to russell westbrook now there's been a lot of talk about bradley beal's next decision if russell westbrook gets traded the washington wizards not trading bradley beal makes no sense at all i don't care what any reports say i don't care what any rumors say i just can't see bradley beal remaining a wizard if russell westbrook does get traded also if you're the washington wizards you're a team that needs to embrace a rebuild. You have good young pieces. It's time to build around them. But hey, I guess I'm wrong because apparently Bradley Beal wants to stay in DC, according to Marcus Thompson. So at the end of the day, hey, who really knows? According to Woj, discussions towards a completed deal are largely centered on the draft compensation that the Wizards would receive in the trade. Whether the deal includes the 22nd overall pick or second rounders, sources tell ESPN. I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to take this as a deal that is pretty much done. I could not be more excited. Westbrook in LA sounds like a movie. Check the pinned comments for updates. I'll bring you guys a larger breakdown tomorrow if you guys want it. Also, subscribe right now. If you are new, you will not want to miss another video. I'll be keeping you guys up to date all off season. How do you guys feel about Russell Westbrook on the Lakers? How do you feel about the Lakers this offseason? And how do you feel about all of the moves that we have been seeing? Clicking the video on the screen right now is a great way to support my channel. I'm Get Like Coop bringing you guys the scoop until our next upload.